Paul Gerard. Uh, I have a company, Gerard Consulting. Uh, I'm a practicing testing consultant, uh, author, and I do a lot of training and coaching. And I'm here to talk about uh, taking the ISAB Foundation Certificate exam. When it comes to the exam, you'll probably be a bit nervous because most people haven't taken an examination for a few years or maybe 20 years if you're an experienced practitioner yourself. So it's natural to be nervous. So these are my top uh, half dozen tips for the exam itself. You've seen the sample paper and your impression of it might be that the examiners are being very finicky, but really they're after precision. Uh, they're testers, they, they act and behave just like you would if you were testing a piece of software. They want precision. So when you start the exam paper, you'll notice very quickly that some questions are simple, some are complicated, but overall you've got a minute and a half for every question, so you have plenty of time. What tends to happen is you encounter a simple question and you answer it in seconds, and then the next one might be complicated and you can get uh, bogged down and stuck with it. So if you do encounter a difficult question in the first few minutes, just leave it and come back later until you've kind of calmed down and got your, got your wind, if you like. The important thing is to be systematic for every question. Read the question. Read it again, and maybe a third time. The reason for that is I'm, I've lost count of the number of people who come out of the exam where people get in a hurdle and they say, uh, oh, the configuration management question, yeah, C, 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 C. Oh, I had C but I changed it to B. Be very careful that you understand why you change an answer. Be very careful that you understand what the question is actually answering, uh, asking. Um, if you're stuck, what tends to happen is you tend to revert back to your own experience. But you have to be very careful with that because your experience might not match what's in the syllabus. So if you do get stuck, firstly ask, what was in the course? What was in the syllabus? Okay, what are they actually asking for here? If you can't recall the exact uh, content of the course, think to yourself, well, what principle are they getting at? Is it about static versus dynamic testing? Is it about independence? Is it about automation? Is it about uh, black box, white box? You know, what is the question? What is the principle that's being uh, considered here? And use your first principles knowledge to work your way through the answer. So be systematic in the complicated uh, combination questions where you have to do um, each answer is a combination of trues and falses. Work through every statement, tick it true, false, or don't know. And then look for opportunities to match the combination that you end up with. Uh, you'll find this a much more reliable way than guessing. Read the question. I can't remember how many times people have said, is that what the question was asking? after the exam. Be systematic and at the end of the exam make sure that every question has been answered. Uh, you don't get marks if you don't answer the questions. Best of luck uh, and I hope you do as well as you can. Thank you.